Natasha Jonas, world champion. How does that sound? Yeah, uh, it's got a good ring to it. I feel so relieved that I finally, you know, I got the opportunity and then obviously went out and did, did what I needed to do on such a big card. Did you get back in time to be part of the celebrations back in Liverpool? I did. I, I left. I just left my stuff in the hotel. Um, <laughs> I got um, one of the, the cars, the private cars home, and then um, I got a taxi back in the morning to pick up my stuff and go go back and just, just feel a little bit normal. So was it a bit wild celebrations? They were. I was actually. I was okay. I, I, I didn't drink. You sometimes after boxing yourself, you you're on such a high that you, you, you don't feel the need, and I didn't feel the need. Um, everybody else was celebrating around me. The belt got passed to absolutely everyone within a four mile radius of the party. And I've been doing a tour of Liverpool this morning with my uncle. Um, so yeah, I've just been enjoying it and enjoying the moment. Was the best moment being reunited with your little daughter, Mella, who you promised that you would win and you did? Yeah, yeah, she's here with me now, just lurking about it outside the camera. Um, uh, yeah, it's just a, a nice feeling, you know, to, it, like I say, it was a bit of tokenism just to say all the hard work that, that I've done and she's seen me go through and the sacrifices with time that I make with her and, 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 we, and we did it and, and I give it to her and it's between her and me now who has it now, they can fight between themselves. <laughs> and uh, let's not forget when, when you fell pregnant and you knew you were going to have your baby daughter, you weren't sure at all whether that was it for your world title ambitions. When did you know that it was still a possibility? I, I always believed once, uh, you know, after the Harper and after the Katie Taylor fights that I was good enough to do it. Um, it was just about getting an opportunity. Um, and yeah, Ben, I, I, I hounded Ben out of Boxer for absolutely months. I said uh, we were trying to get um, higher ranking people's in my preferred weight and it, no one was was willing to fight, so I said, get me a title at it any weight, I don't care who it is. And he came to me and he said what weight it was, and I didn't even ask, I didn't even, I, didn't, I weren't even bothered about the weight, I just said, who is it? And, you know, we, we got it done. So, how, ma a massive respect to Ben and, you know, to thank, it, to thank him. And how much of a, a physical challenge was it once you worked out what you had to do to be fighting three weight classes up? Um, it's... Um, it's not just that I think people just think, oh, you've gone up a weight, you know, it's a case of eating more and dieting less, but it wasn't. There was a lot of science that went into that camp, you know, I stayed at the weight I was probably going to be in in, uh, in the fight. Um, I was at that weight for, you know, five or six weeks training and sparring heavier, taller, taller uh, opponents, uh, uh, um, just so I, could, I knew I could perform at a weight because my optimum weight that I got in at, with Taylor and and with Harper was, was obviously a little bit lighter. Um, so yeah, you know, I, I, I grew, it took me 10 weeks to, you know, build a little bit of strength and get a bit of muscle, a lean muscle. And, and yeah, you know, I think it showed in my performance that I was explosive. I hadn't lost any speed, I hadn't lost any power. So yeah, it worked, everyone worked well together. Terry Harper was a, a draw, Katie Taylor was a, a defeat. How did you make sure that you didn't go into Saturday night's fight, thinking, I don't win when it comes to a world title fight. Yeah, they're the things that you know. I, I took positives from it, from every every fight that I've been in. Um, the Harper, I had a good round eight and probably had a ch opportunity to finish it and didn't, which kind of haunted me in the end when the result came. Katie Taylor was a, a she had a little bit of bit more experience in the championship rounds and she probably on two of the judges' scorecards at least nicked it in round nine. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, there was round eight, round nine, I, s I said to Joe, I promise you, you're going to get a, a good ten rounds out of me this time. Um, and it, I didn't need it, I didn't need it. So, you know, it's a testament to all my sparring partners that, that I work with throughout the camp, in particular Cindy, who was in the changing rooms, going over that same combination five minutes before we went out and, and I threw it. And it was probably, even though she got up after and and... and survived the first knockdown it was she probably, I don't think that she fully recovered so and now all the talk is about an England Scotland clash you and Hannah Rankin do you feel that's going to happen 
I think it's, it's a great opportunity for both of us. Hannah's uh, someone I really look up to and respect. Um, she's done a lot for female boxing um, in Scotland and, and, and in the UK and beyond. So she's fought, you know, champions in, in both Savannah, Clarissa and, and, and many others. And I, I respect, you know, she's got she's got two world titles. So that, that that's how good she is. Um, do I believe I can win? Of course I do. I always back myself. And it, I think it'd be a great opportunity to showcase, you know, women's boxing at its finest again on, on, a, on a big platform and on a big stage somewhere. And you're not thinking ranking, ranking and out, are you? Are you going to go on for a little while while you're still enjoying it, while you still feel you can defend world titles? As long as my mental state is with me, your body can do anything it wants. You just need, you just need to, your mind to be with you. And we, you know, after Open Off and had the struggle of building myself back up from there, I've, there's lots of things I've learned and gained about myself that I take into every fight. Like we were saying earlier about um, how do you not worry about things that are going to happen you, you that there's stuff that stuff i've learned from you know the bad things that have happened and the mistakes that have been through before and if you don't learn from the mistakes then there's a problem you mentioned before that it was a particular privilege to be on that bill the brook khan bill which ended up being a fantastic night for kel brook what were your thoughts on all that i was still like half running about and trying to see people and enjoying me moments and taking pictures and doing media stuff that i didn't fully um, sit down and, and concentrate and watch the fight. Um, but I, I was I was ringside. I could hear it. I was watching it. But what an absolute opportunity for for Kel. It was a brilliant night. I, like I, I feel for Amir. I know him really well. I know both both men very well. And it, there was lots of pride and pride at stake and ego and um, legacies that were that 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 wanted to be you know put to bed. And I think you know. Kel was the, the fortunate man on the night and he, he, he'll be happy with his performance. Definitely will. Not that many weeks now until that landmark moment for women's boxing. Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano headlining the big event at Madison Square Garden. How big an occasion is that for women's boxing? Who's going to win it? It's so hard. Um, it's another one where you're to and fro and you're back and forth and you try and break down things. But... You know, I think that there isn't a person out there that Katie hasn't fought. You know, she's amateur and professional. She's done the lot. Um, so it's hard to, to bet against her. But then when you think of the calibre of, of Serrano and, and, you know, her punch power, her aggressiveness and the fact that she's a southpaw, um, I think all them things together combined, it's just a nightmare night for Katie. Um, who wins? I don't. I couldn't say. I couldn't. I wouldn't put my money on either. Very wise. Thanks very much indeed, Natasha. And uh, go back and enjoy the rest of your family celebrations. Thanks a lot.